In our election 2016 coverage this morning, the 2016 presidential contenders made a final push for votes ahead of tomorrow's primary contests in Kentucky and Oregon. Presumptive GOP nominee Donald Trump is looking to add to his delegate count, but he still does face a challenge getting Republicans to unite behind him. Democrat Hillary Clinton is hoping to upset rival Bernie Sanders in both states and turn her full attention to a general election matchup against Trump. Hannah Daniels says the latest from New York. Donald Trump kept a low profile at his daughter's graduation ceremony in Pennsylvania Sunday as the campaign to build Republican unity rolled on. Who is going to blow up the system? Who is going to get the change that people want done? That's what this election's coming down to. RNC Chair Reince Priebus took to the airwaves Sunday to defend the party's presumptive nominee against a New York Times report he mistreated dozens of women in the past. Trump has called the report a lame hit piece. Priebus also panned a movement by some conservatives, seeking an independent candidate to block the billionaire businessman. What people should do is take the Paul Ryan approach, which is to work with Donald Trump and find out whether or not there's common ground. Campaigning in Kentucky Sunday, Hillary Clinton focused most of her jabs at her likely Republican opponent. He is a loose cannon who has said keep Muslims out, who has said let's withdraw from NATO. The list is long. The former Secretary of State still faces a primary challenge from rival Bernie Sanders. If they want the strongest candidate to defeat Donald Trump, Bernie Sanders is that candidate. Clinton leads Sanders by more than 700 delegates going into Tuesday's contest and is on track to clinch the Democratic nomination by next month. Hannah Daniels, CBS News. Hillary Clinton campaigns again in Kentucky today, while Bernie Sanders heads to Puerto Rico, which holds a Democratic caucus June 5th.